Alrighty then. Uh, this is a quick review of um, um, medium sized or medium uh, buck converter. This one is based on the LM25 <clears throat> LM2596HVS not the LM2596S. Uh, basically the difference in this is that uh, the HVS can handle higher voltages. Um, this one has a maximum voltage of 53 volts and it can adjust the output voltage between 3 and 40 volts. Um, output current, these things are listed as 3 amps but as usual that's um, basically a, a peak current uh, as it sits with no heat sink uh, it can only really handle 1.5 amps continuous uh, they don't really make it easy to put a heat sink on this but it, it would be possible to possibly get something on it um, Claims output ripple of less than 30 millivolts. Switching frequency 150 kilohertz, 92% efficiency. Operating temperature minus 45 to plus 85. Uh, this one, the size is 43 millimeters by 21 millimeters by 14 millimeters. Actually, according to this, what I'm reading, uh, what I said earlier about 1.5 amps. This one claims 2.5 amps continuous. Uh, anything more than that you have to use a heat sink. Um, I've used these several times. Um, I have a couple of, uh, if you saw my previous hybrid linear switching power supply I used a couple of these to uh, to do that. Um, it only has two mounting holes. Um, it has plus in, minus in, plus in, minus or plus out, minus out, and a helpful arrow to tell you which direction power will go. Uh, you can remove. Actually, on all of these, you can remove um, this pot, and I believe it's a 10K pot, and replace it with a larger one for mounting in um, if you need adjustable power. Um, I put one of these in my the Rayovac conversion to LED uh, works really well doesn't take up very much space um, I think that's just really it there's, there's not much to say they work good um, work a lot cooler can handle more power than an LM317 um, uh, there is, I believe, no input reverse polarity protection. Um, they are constant voltage. There's no constant current uh, measurement, so there's no short circuit protection as far as I know, other than uh, whatever, if you looked up the data sheet on this chip, it might contain some kind of uh, current protection or over overheat but the information I have in front of me um, doesn't say but the data sheet is available for this you can look it up so anyways that's it